You're watching 45 Friday. My name is Ilka Siren and today we're tackling a new style of port wine which we haven't yet tasted in 45 Friday and that is late bottled vintage. What is late bottled vintage? Well, it is like the term says late bottled vintage. For example, the wine we're tasting today is Quinta de la Rosa late bottled vintage 2006 and even though it's 2006 it's bottled in 2010 so they usually leave the wine uh, to age or to mature uh, for four or five or six years depending on the producer in these big huge oak uh, tonels as they call it oak, oak uh, barrels or casks or whatever you want to call them and uh, then they bottle later and usually they're considered to be more approachable uh, than vintage ports uh, when young and then usually the uh, people recommend to drink them also earlier because uh, people of often say that they don't have the potential to age as long as a vintage port although that may be true but i think uh, as a category in port wine the uh, lbvs are usually undervalued i think there is some really really good good lbvs out there with very nice prices and they can age and many people say also that oh you know they're filtered you know they cannot last very long and that's bullshit actually this wine is not filtered for example as many other lbvs is not filtered and i think they have potential to age not for hundreds of years but still that they can age you know 10 20 years easily and they can develop some really really nice characters Anyways, Quinta de la Rosa is an interesting uh, producer, quite close to Pinhao, I, I would say like, I think two kilometers from Pinhao. So right in the heartland of Douro, you have three regions in, in, in Douro. You have the Baixo Gorgo, which is the closest one to Porto, and that's considered as a cooler climate area and usually used uh, to cultivate uh, grapes to go with the inexpensive rubies and, and, and tonis and, and that kind of stuff. And then the... the Sima Gorgo, which is the middle area, which is around Pinyao, and that's considered usually the best area, like the, the, you know, the location to grow the best grapes for port wines. And then you have the uh, Dor Superior, uh, which is kind of been sexy topic in the world of port wine in, in the past couple of years. There's some really good producers doing some exciting stuff, but that's more f flat in a way. And then you have also the possibility to machine harvest in Dor Superior. Anyways, but we're now in the heartland in, in close to Pinyao and let's see what this wine is about. First of all, you have I have to say and you probably know this, you know, the bottle shape is uh, peculiar, uh, but I kind of like it. I mean, it's, 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 you know, you obviously see many times, you know, the basic bottle shapes of port wine and I, I think this is kind of a breath of fresh air, uh, especially like a category like LBV. I think, I think it's quite cool. And the year 2006, generally it was cooler uh, than 2005. They had some problems with rain in the end of August. So it's probably one of the reasons that 2006 is not officially uh, declared vintage. And it's probably because of that they, uh, they said at Quintal de la Rosa that they pushed, put most of their best wines into the LBV that year because uh, it wasn't really a declared vintage year. Anyways, let's uh, give it a smell. You get this really, really kind of. Uh, what's the term for smooth? If in in the nose, I don't. You cannot really smell smoothness, but it's this kind of like very seductive uh, smell of this uh, concentrated like berry aromas, and you have this. You have this kind of gravel, granite kind of smell, which I kind of like. It's kind of fascinating in a way. Let's taste it. Mm. You know, I think you know because it's it, it's it was a cooler year, so it's not that powerful. It's not kind of those heavy hitters. It's more subtle in a way. It's more elegant, if you can say that. It's 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 not a powerhouse of a of a wine, but you can really taste the kind of smooth, concentrated, uh, you know, just seductive wines. You know, this one kind of the wine you can take to a, a date you know to seduce a, a woman or a man or whatever and then I think it, it's, it has a very good drinkability now but I think it could age a couple of years really really nicely 
and the aromas are, are really pleasant. I mean, pleasant. Mm. And you know, the color as always, I mean, Dor gives some of the most exciting color wines, you know, these deep, deep ruby kind of colors. Anyways, LBVs, uh, if you haven't tested the LBV wine, uh, you should definitely go and find some, either Quinta de la Rosa or some of the other great producers that they have in Doro and, and taste what they have and what they're like. And, and please comment down below, you know, give us uh, comments about your favorite LBV wines and uh, share, you can share it in, in, in Twitter or on Facebook, this clip, and then let's spread the word of port wines and fortified wines in general and, and also the hashtag, let's talk about this in, in Twitter. Anyway, see you next week on 45 Friday. Cheers.